KGUN 9 on your side first warning weather with Kyler Diggs. Hey, take a look at this beautiful I Contribute shot right here. And uh, this was the sunset over the Rincons earlier this evening. Thanks to Larry Wazlewski for sending this one to us. He also sent another one that I really like. This is Thimble Peak right here. And that was just about sunset as well. Some beautiful colors out there, all courtesy of a few clouds that we saw. And those clouds, remember, that we had around here the last couple of days, they did some pretty impressive things. Look at this. The three-day storm total was just over two inches. So that's the third wettest three-day November rain we've ever had around here. The November rain so far for the month, 2.22 inches. So that makes this the seventh wettest November on record. And we're not done yet. That erased over two inches of what was almost a uh, over a four and a half inch deficit that we had going into this storm. So this was a good beneficial storm for us. And we also saw some good beneficial snow into the high country, 20 inches in Hannigan Meadow and 10 inches atop Mount Lemmon at the fire department. So a big storm for us now pushing out of here and it's leaving behind some cold temperatures tonight. Already 39 degrees in Oracle, 37 in Sierra Vista, still 53 though in Gila Bend. As I mentioned earlier, we do have a frost advisory in effect tonight for most of southeastern Arizona. This does include Tucson, but we're not looking for a hard freeze. But if you have some tender plants out there, might want to take care of those and don't forget your pets as well. Current temperatures across the nation look like this. Cold in the uh, northern tier of states and even into the south central Texas. There are 35 degrees in Dallas in the last hour. That's where that storm system that pushed through here is now pushing across Texas, spreading some of that freezing rain. Let's take a look at this video right here, really causing some uh, driving problems. Check this out. This SUV loses control, rolls over. This is in Oklahoma, and the problem here was they had a little bit of freezing rain fall right before some snow, and man, I've been in that. It is hard to handle any kind of vehicle, and that four-wheel drive just turns into four-wheel slide, as you see right there. No word on any injuries or anything like that. Okay, let's bring it back to the map, and speaking of travel, looks like from the Mississippi West, holiday travel is going to be in great shape, but that storm system that we're talking about, it's going to cause some problems along the East Coast. All right, your forecast for tonight goes like this. Big story here, cold. 20s in the high country, 30s in the lower elevations, mostly clear skies for all of us, and uh, 20s and 30s tonight will change into 50s and 60s for tomorrow with lots of sunshine. And then as we head on into the seven day forecast, well, 37 degrees tonight with the frost advisory in effect for Tucson. But look at that, lots of sunshine going into the middle of the week with slightly warmer temperatures back into the 60s. And for Thanksgiving, 71 degrees. So no cold turkey this year. Yeah, you see, you delivered. Uh, we, we try. Appreciate we try. That. We got the rain. Now we got the nice weather in time for the holiday. It's cold in Foxborough. Oh, it is. Big game yeah. going on there. Yeah, cold <laughs> for me too as a Bronco fan. So.